I dislike having to bring you this bit of news. Sad news indeed. Please join me in remembering a great icon of the entertainment community. The Pillsbury Doughboy died yesterday of a yeast infection and trauma complications from repeated pokes in the belly. He was 71. Doughboy was buried in a lightly greased coffin. Dozens of celebrities turned out to pay their respects, including Mrs. Butterworth, Hungry Jack, and the California Raisins, Betty Crocker, the Hostess Twinkies, and Captain Crunch. The gravesite was piled high with flowers. Aunt Jemima delivered the etology, or etology without the T. Jemima. Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. The eulogy. Aunt That's what you're gonna get. <laughs> All right. No, just from Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima delivered the eulogy and lovingly described Doughboy as a man who never knew how much he was needed. Born and bred in Minnesota, Doughboy rose quickly in show business, but his later life was filled with turnovers. He was not considered a very smart cookie, wasting much of his dough on half-baked schemes. Despite being a little flaky at times, he still was a crusty old man and was considered a positive role model for millions. Role model. Doughboy is survived by his wife, um... By his wife, Play Play Doh, three children, John Doe, Jane Doe, and Dozy Doe. Plus, they had one in the oven. He is also survived by his elderly father, Pop Tart. The funeral was held at five at three fifty for about twenty minutes. He was later cremated. If you smile while reading this, please rise to the occasion and pass it on to someone having a crummy day and needing a lift. <laughs> Ha <laughs>